become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here. Today I'd like to introduce a truly revolutionary figure in Iron Game history and that is Hippolyte Triad, who many historians consider the man that developed and began the modern physical culture movement. The long forgotten French strongman's life and early achievements in physical culture were rediscovered thanks to Edmond Despenay, a later pioneer of the physical culture movement in France. In a time when gymnastics was practiced by the military and seen as boring, for lack of a better word, Hippolyte Triad is said to have developed floor gymnastics, exercises that resemble weight training of today. By studying the Roman and Greek gymnastic exercises from ancient books and later popularized it, making this practice of performing exercises using weights, aka weight training, very, very popular. We can see the effect that his own system had on his own physique, showing here in this fabulous uh, drawing his massive muscularity, power and beauty all together captured in this phenomenal drawing of his physique. So today I will recount the story of this extraordinary pioneer of our beloved Iron Game and tell the tale of how he began a physical culture revolution. Enjoy. Triat was born in 1813 in St. Sharp's Nimes, I hope I'm saying that correct, and unfortunately was orphaned at the age of four years of age, and by the age of six, kidnapped by gypsies, who may have sold him to a band of Italian performers, whom which he stayed with for seven years, performing as a girl, actually, called Young Isella, in a wire-walking act. By 1825, the troop split up and tried along with the troop members, one of the troop members actually, and his two sons, formed a weightlifting and physique troop called the Alcides. It is said that in the city of Burgos in the year 1828, Triad suffered an accident. However, it was a fortunate accident as he heroically attempted to save a lady from a horse that was running away, his legs got caught between the horse's hooves and he broke his legs. Madame Monsanto, the lady he saved, was rather impressed at the teenager and, he, and she paid for his education until the age of 22 years of age, approximately the year 1834. And during this time that he was uh, studying, he actually had access to a uh, library with ancient books on physical culture studying the works of Mercurialis, Plexidus, Andre, etc., and, and began to absorb all the methods of the Roman and Greek glad gladiators, there, the exercises that they performed, etc. In 1834, Triet returned to performing as a strongman and physique performer in an act that involved a revolving column where he hung off it with his hands, feet or chin and would, would lift horses or men as he hung off this uh, column. The, uh, the act was immensely successful and he traveled to Spain and England performing and later on decided to settle in Belgium. With his background in theatrical strongmanism, Triet knew how to wow the public. Triet also realized that at the time health and fitness were marketable products and using his showmanship, he made physical culture fashionable and opened gymnasiums firstly in Brussels in Belgium and later in Paris, France, attracting high society Parisians and even the Emperor of France himself. From his studies, he developed weight training exercises combining these with calisthenics and gymnastics in a new scientific and revolutionary system. Now, Triad's gymnasium is said to be something of legend. The, the gymnasiums were these beautiful halls, as you can see in this picture here, with all these hanging ropes, dumbbells, barbells, Indian clubs, all these ropes and pulleys, and a, and a massive horse even at the back, you can see it, with audiences gathering and just being wowed by all the uh, athletic performance that was going on. Again, as I mentioned earlier, Triad was a real showman and really... um 
wowed the crowds. Um, his students, of course, performed, as you can see in this image. They, they are lining up and performing, actually, the light dumbbell system in this particular image. The gymnasium was about 40 meters long, 21 meters in breadth, and 10 meters in height. It is said that around 8 o'clock at night, the show would begin. As it says in, um, actually, the, I've got an article from the Stark Center. I'll just read a quote from that. Suddenly, the silent palace takes voice, and the inanimate weights begin to move and breathe. The observation galleries fill up and are quickly adorned with flowers, lace, and admiring female smiles. I can just imagine all the gasps and, and the girls just lining up just to see or the brawny, um, muscled men performing the exercises. And of course, Triet himself is mentioned too. Behold the master himself. Stop and look at him. He launches himself in the air like a bounding tiger, and seizes a rope, and then rapidly mounts it up to the ceiling. Then he seems to swim in midair, but as if to equal these aerial antics, Triet alights onto one of the balcony railings and from there he vaults head first to the floor below wow well, can you just imagine this enormous hall with all these athletic performances occurring it must have been a hell of a spectacle i'd like to further read from the stark center's um, article that i've actually got and downloaded um, where triad's floor gymnastics or basically his weight training system is explained so let me read and quote from that the normal lesson or the floor exercises are always led by Mr. Triad himself. The director's purpose is to exercise one by one and in a logical and therapeutic order all the muscles of the human body. This lesson elicits much admiration from men of art. In addition to being of superior utility, these exercises are beautiful and seductive as a performance. Fifty students arrange themselves in two rows and we can actually see that. Um, kind of in this image. So they uh, arrange themselves into two rows and at the sound of the master's voice they bow to him. Triat, clad in an unusual though splendidly elegant costume, takes up his position in the middle of the arena. Indeed, he cuts a striking figure with his head carried high, while in his right hand he waves a staff covered in silver filigree. And I think you can almost see him in the middle here. Continuing, his vibrant and sonorous voice fills the hall like a trumpet fanfare. Each exercise leads to the next with fiery rapidity, large and small dumbbells. And here is where there is um, reference to the light dumbbell system. You can actually see that in the image that some of the men are performing uh, exercises here with the light dumbbell. Continuing, uh, the gladiators dance. <laughs> Called the gladiators dance, it's awesome running in long lines that double back on themselves like coils of a serpent, the short bar, fighting with the bar, club swinging, so that's Indian club swinging, and finally the heavy barbell. Every movement in this series is done with an energy which seems almost magical. Wow! <laughs> Imagine that, seeing a performance of, you know, young men just, you know, <laughs> in their tights performing all these uh, exercises. I'm sure it was one spectacle to behold triads gymnasium amazing towards the end of triads career he attempted to build a massive sports complex on the island of beyond court but the idea received little interest here is an actual image i've pulled off the internet where you can see the plans for this massive sports complex it was a rather uh, ambitious project and I applaud his, his, his idea, his ideals of, of trying to fortify the nation with physical culture. I mean, that's what it's all about. But his political stand cost him dearly. Um, and later on, he was actually arrested and he lived the rest of his days, unfortunately, in poverty. Such was the miserable demise and end of one of Iron Game's greatest pioneers, Hippolyte Triad. Truly a sad ending. Now, if you are interested in learning more about the Bronze Era and strongman methods of gaining strength, of building muscle, you can find a lot of this information on my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com, where I have um, uploaded uh, rare books such as The Amazing Sansom, as told by himself, the biography of 
this strong man. Of course, um, I've got many books on Eugene Sandow, which uh, talks about his light dumbbell system, his chest expander and cable system, as well as his strongman acts and how to perform them. Um, there's also the biography of The Strongest Man That Ever Lived, Louis Sir by George F. Jowett, a fantastic read. Samson Systems and Methods is more of a, not necessarily an instructional manual, but it does give hip, uh, tips and hints as to how to perform certain uh, strength feeds and how to get strong using chains. He actually used chains to um, develop his strength. And um, I'll also be uploading uh, very soon some books on how to perform strongman feats. I think this is a wonderful topic that a lot of people want to get into and I've been actually asked about that too. All available at www.goldenerabookworm.com So I do hope that you have enjoyed this look at one of Iron Game's greatest pioneers, especially in regards to pioneering the physical culture movement, Hippolyte Triad. I hope you've enjoyed this tribute. Uh, long overdue. Absolutely long overdue. If you've enjoyed watching the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Leave me your comments and thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my research, please donate via PayPal. You can become a patron. You can also visit my website www.goldenerabookworm.com for out of print books and courses on old school bodybuilding and physical culture. You can also email me if you wish to pass on your books, magazines, photos, or memorabilia. I'm always adding to my collection to make sure that then I can I can pass this information on on this YouTube channel. That's what it's all about, sharing this information. Once again, hope you've enjoyed watching the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. And to take full advantage of my collaborations with NSP Nutrition and Old School Labs, you can visit their websites and, for example, use the code GB20 to get a 20% discount from all of NSP's products and use the code on the Old School Labs website, Bookworm12, to get 12% off their products. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo. I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still on equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day, and again, highly recommend this book.